Lies you were told as a kid that you still believe. Hi everyone, welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of science and truth. I'm your host, and today we're going to expose some lies you were told as a kid that you still believe. These are myths and misconceptions that you may have heard from your parents, teachers, or friends, but have no scientific basis or evidence. You might be shocked by some of the lies on this list, and how they have influenced your thinking and behavior. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now, let's get started. Number 1. Cracking your knuckles will give you arthritis. This is one of the most common lies you were told as a kid, probably to stop you from making annoying noises with your fingers. But the truth is, cracking your knuckles has nothing to do with arthritis. Arthritis is a condition that causes inflammation and pain in the joints, and it can be caused by various factors such as age, genetics, injury, or infection. Cracking your knuckles is simply the result of air bubbles popping in the fluid that lubricates your joints. It does not cause any damage or harm to your joints or bones. Number 2. You need to drink 8 glasses of water a day. This is another lie that you may have heard from your parents or teachers, probably to encourage you to stay hydrated and healthy. But the truth is, there is no scientific evidence that supports this rule. The amount of water you need to drink depends on various factors such as your body weight, activity level, climate, and health condition. The best way to know if you are drinking enough water is to listen to your body and drink when you are thirsty. Number 3. You can't swim for an hour after eating. This is a lie that you may have heard from your parents or lifeguards, probably to prevent you from getting cramps or drowning in the pool. But the truth is, there is no scientific basis for this myth. The idea behind this lie is that eating diverts blood flow from your muscles to your stomach, making them weaker and more prone to cramps. However, this effect is negligible and does not affect your swimming ability or safety. The only reason you may feel uncomfortable swimming after eating is because of indigestion or gas. Number 4. Carrots will improve your eyesight. This is a lie that you may have heard from your parents or teachers, probably to make you eat more vegetables and get more vitamin A, but the truth is, carrots will not improve your eyesight unless you have a vitamin A deficiency, which is rare in developed countries. The origin of this lie dates back to World War II, when the British spread a propaganda story that their pilots had excellent night vision because they ate a lot of carrots. The real reason was that they had a new radar technology that helped them locate enemy planes. Number 5. You lose most of your body heat through your head. This is a lie that you may have heard from your parents or teachers, probably to make you wear a hat in cold weather. But the truth is, you do not lose most of your body heat through your head. You lose body heat through any exposed part of your body, and the head only accounts for about 10% of your body surface area. The reason why this lie persists is because of a flawed experiment conducted by the US military in the 1950s, where they measured the heat loss of soldiers wearing Arctic survival suits but no hats. These are just some of the lies you were told as a kid that you still believe. There are many more to discover, and who knows what else we might find in the future. What do you think of these lies? Do you know any other lies that you believed as a kid? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching Science Telly, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.